Tracking a cold front that is sliding from the northwest to the southeast across our area. It is touching off just a little bit of light rain and a few sprinkles too. This is going to be the case as we head into the evening hour snapshot right around 6 o'clock this evening. Just a few spotty showers in and about the area. The coverage is very limited with this system. Right around 830, a lot of this activity will be shifting off to the south and east and then a northwest wind will be ushering in some colder air on the backside of this system. Believe it or not, we'll have clearing sky conditions overnight, but Temperature wise, it's certainly shaping up to be a very cold night tonight. Overnight lows are expected to fall into about the middle 30s with a gusty west northwesterly breeze. It's going to be between about 10 and 15 miles per hour. This is going to generate wind chills down in the 20s, especially as we start off more in the morning. It's early Sunday morning. As a matter of fact, a lot of sunshine in the morning, but the cloud cover is expected to increase. A strong and gusty northwest wind will usher in more cloud cover off the lake and we will even see a few flurries from about the lunch hour to about the middle of the afternoon. We do still have more flurry chances in store for us come Monday, but here's your planner for Sunday middle 30s to start off the day, but prepare for wind chills in the 20s and quite frankly, wind chills will improve to about 30 degrees in the afternoon as those thermometer readings top out right around 40 degrees. Nonetheless, Monday is looking like the coldest day in our 70 forecast, tracking a little bit of flurry activity and a few snowflakes too, and then another warming heading our way. I'll break it all down for you in your hometown forecast on Fox 55 News.